Hello and welcome to my channel Marcus Codes. In today's episode I'm going to talk about Domain Keys Identified Mail. It is the third part of my four-part series about the sender authentication package in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So if you haven't watched the first two parts, make sure to check them out now. I link them right here in that video. Basically, DKIM or Domain Keys Identified Mail is also just another text record within your DNS, just like SPF that has been covered in the previous episode. But what that um, record includes is the public key of your cryptographic key pair. And with the other part, you can then sign your email messages and it is possible for the recipient to verify that signature using the public key. And this is how such a record can look like. It, co it contains three parts. The first one indicating that it is a DKIM record and the version of the DKIM record. The second part includes information about the cryptographic mechanism that is used. In that case, it is RSA. And the third part is the base64 representation of your public key. And the benefits of using DKIM is that your recipients have a measure to um, yeah, retrieve or validate the authenticity of your messages. So they can find out that the message is sent from a system that has been authorized by you, the owner of the sending domain. And the next thing that the recipients can do is verify if the content still is the same as uh, when it left the sending system. So they can make sure that nobody tampered with the contents of that email. And with that safety measures in place, uh, it leads to a better sender reputation. So most email providers um, basically expect you to use DKIM um, at that time um, to gain a specific sender reputation score. So um, to have a reasonable sender score and to have a great um, deliverability of your messages and a great inbox placement, um, you can uh, achieve that using DKIM. And um, to have uh, another layer of security that helps you when uh, wanting to change that keys or rotate that keys as it's called, um, which is just um, switching to a new cryptographic key pair from time to time, um, it is helpful to utilize DKIM selectors. What it's also good for is if you have multiple systems that should use the same uh, sending domain, then it is also possible to have a separate key pair for every system that sends your communication. And in the DNS, it is just another subdomain for that underscore domain key um, subdomain of your sending domain, uh, which contains all the um, DKIM records. So you can have multiple key pairs for multiple systems or for the same system uh, to be able to rotate those keys. And if you want to check if a certain email could verify that uh, signature or if there is a signature in place that has been verified then, you can do that right from your email client. Um, depending on the email client that you use, you might find a feature that is called few source, few headers or few original um, most of the time in the context menu of uh, an email or directly in your inbox. When using that feature, you get a text representation of that email, including all the header information. And in that header information, you have an authentication result that should contain a DKIM part. In that case, highlighted in yellow, it would be a pass for that message um, because it, uh, it contains DKIM equals pass. And further down 
um, but also still in the headers of the uh, email you can also find uh, information about the signature that also includes the algorithm that is used and um, information about the selector of the of that DKM key that has been used for um, creating the signature. It is indicated also um, marked in yellow here with S equals and then um, the selector. And now that you know the selector, you can also verify that um, DKM record using your local machine um, and a command line tool on your local machine. Uh, as an alternative, you also have uh, multiple online tools that do the same thing for you. Uh, you can just search for them online and uh, a bunch of them will pop up. But I'll explain how that works with um, your local machine and just a command line program. I'll show it for macOS and Linux command dig and also how it works with NSLOOKUP that can also be used on Windows machines. So if you want to check um, that signature of the email we just saw, you just type in dig, then the selector, which is 2608, point underscore domain key, dot mail, dot salesforce, dot com, and then txt, as we are interested in the txt records. Then um, a bunch of information uh, is displayed, one of which is the specific record we are interested in, um, including the value of that, where we can see uh, it is a DKM record, the met method is, that is used is RSA, and then the base64 rep representation of that public key. The same thing can also be done using NSLOOKUP, we just type NSLOOKUP, minus type equals txt and then um, again the selector so 2608 dot underscore domain key dot mail dot salesforce dot com hit return and then the same information shows up also including um, the information that we've retrieved using the dig command. I hope you now know what dkim is and how it can help you further uh, elevate your sender reputation. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date and have a great day. Thanks for watching.